All right, fellas, so check me out. So these ladies right here are trying to tell us some reasons on why they ghosted someone on a date. Like, straight up just went ghost. Cast with a friendly, or maybe not friendly, ghost. So, um, I'm going to keep it honest with y'all. I'm going to keep it G. I'm going to keep it a buck. I haven't had too many experiences with being ghosted on dates because when it comes down to those investments, it's probably a good chance that I've already been balls deep up in it already before I done took somebody on a date. Oh, oh, thank you for the subscription, 901. Stop lacking, but yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the time we dating or going on dates and stuff like that, it's already like an understood thing, you know. People would like to say I probably was like, you know, an F boy back in my past. I had a little F boy ways, you know. Wasn't full F boy, but I had some F boy tendencies, you feel me? But um, we're gonna see what the ladies are talking about to make sure you guys don't get ghosted. Let's see what they saying, you feel me? Even though we may not agree with their reasons, if you don't want to be ghosted, let's pay attention. We just gotta understand what they thinking, how they feeling, you feel me? Gotta understand how they feeling. All my football watchers, all my basketball watchers, we're about to watch some game tape and see how we can get a W next time we step out on that field or that court. Let's get to it. So shouts out to Spiritual Word for going there and putting this thread together. So this lady right here is who kicked that bitch off. She said, what was the reason that made you go someone after a date? Oh, so homeboy, oh, oh, we got the fellas in this bitch too. Oh, ladies, my bad, y'all gonna get some game too. All right, so homie said girl told me she don't care for her physical health. Don't dance in parties, don't like traveling, and asked me when's the last time I had sex, and that she likes arguing all on one date. You know, that's how you vet. I'm pretty sure she didn't just come out and just say it like that, but he vetted properly in one day because if you get a girl talking she gonna spill all the beans she gonna spill all the beans like the pot was too hot and too heavy like eh, eh. just go ahead and give you all the beans just right in there so you gotta pay attention and get them talking um let's move on so oh we got some more fellas okay <laughs> i thought it's for the i thought the ladies were gonna give us game but the fellas are like i said the fellas the fellas ain't holding back no more so homie what she did my boy what she did my boy she put the bread and the butter in her bag <laughs> In her handbag when I took her out to dinner. Oh yeah, oh no, nigga. Yeah, yeah, we can't be living like that. We ain't living like that. We ain't moving in that manner. Damn, <laughs> hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. What else y'all got on here? So the fellas ain't holding their tongue. All right, he took off his shirt and one shoulder was shorter than the other. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? You couldn't see that without the shirt? Like, niggas just out here hitting a permanent Uzi shoulder roll. You couldn't see that with the shirt on? I don't fucking know. You feel me? I don't know. Y'all out here dating Quasimodo or some shit. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> so, another fella. Another fella. Um... Oh, this a white boy too. Okay, okay. And he with a black chick. Oh, we got this little swirling action going on here. <laughs> a little swirling action. <laughs> so I uh, went for dinner. Uh, she ordered the most expensive item on the menu. Uh, baby back ribs. Hey, most of them then asked me what animal they're from because she doesn't eat pork. I didn't even have the heart to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that nigga hit it with the um how about them cowboys <laughs> nigga switch the subject real quick on the stupid ass little silly ass <laughs> she probably was saying that don't eat pork shit this is the sound cute whole time your fork is oinking baby girl whole time you eating babe <laughs> hell nah all right so all right some ladies some ladies all right so Lied about having kids, then accidentally brought his daughter up mid conversation. When I checked him on, he said, I'll be forgetting to have kids. Like, what? Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Niggas is wildin'. Like, y'all niggas be different. Um, I don't know. Y'all niggas be different. I be hearing some stories that my homegirls be telling me, and I just be like, oh. Niggas is wildin'. <laughs> Niggas really be wild, man. Some so sometimes when I be I, when I do these videos, I be on my channel and the girl say some shit, and I be like, listen, I understand. Cause some some dudes they just be trying to get what get away with whatever they can. They try to get away with whatever they can. And listen, if you gonna let them, I can't stop them. All I can do is advise you on what how to move. But let's keep moving. So when I got in the car, I looked at his hand and he had a cast on 
I don't know why, but his hand being broken was just so childish to me. <laughs> and it was smiling way too big and hard for my liking. Oh, you ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't shit. Nigga can't. What if he was doing some construction work or some shit and something fell on his hand or whatever like that? You never fucking know. You never felt a carpet tunnel from, you know, writing too much big ass checks because he's just a big boss, nigga. And he's smiling because he loving life. You never know. You never know. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Big body guy, whatever, whatever your name is. B -b 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 body guy. You ain't shit for that right there. You never know what that man was going through in his life. Man, come on. Let's let's move on. So our uh, right, so Jay say. We went on a date and had one too many drinks. Uh, after night ended, he walked me to my car and said, God will guide me home. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I thought she was going to say something like he tried her or some shit like that. Or um, he got super, super drunk or something. But she wanted him to take her home. I, I don't know. But, hey, it is what it is. But that nigga funny as hell, though. He should have called an Uber or something. I don't fucking know. But but I must say, do not get more wavy than a girl that you want to date with. And I don't know super weird shit, some creepy shit. It's just that as a man, just uh, keeping back in mind, you are the protector. So you got to make sure that she's comfortable. And you are able to be able to take care of her if she goes too far off the deep end. Because they have a, a lower tolerance than us, more than likely. But um, make sure you don't get too wavy, too faded. You feel me? Hope y'all get that. All right. So what else they got? <clears throat> so homie right here, another brother, another brother. He said, um, so she said I was a nice young man who shouldn't have pierced my ears. But God told her I had to be a good husband and father to her child. And she'll groom me adequately. Well, hold the fuck on. <laughs> Slow the fuck down, my lady. <laughs> Slow the hell down, my lady. What are you, what are you talking about? Um, You out here looking for a man or a stepfather. Like, what? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to get into? Like, you gonna just groom me? You can't just groom. You have a you have a child to be grooming. You ain't gonna groom no another grown ass full blown human being sitting in front of you at no desk taking care of their own self, wiping their own ass. You ain't gonna be grooming no next person. You feel me? And that's a lot of people's issues. I'm glad this man, this young man, Nerd Ner Ner Stark. I'm I'm so glad that Dwayne is actually doing it right you feel me he did not get caught up in a woman trying to groom him the fuck hell nah man hell nah you don't need no fellas you don't need no woman to groom you and if you think you still need some grooming then you need still need some time to be on your own because no trust me Figure yourself, just sell your own life out. Figure that shit out. All right, so the last one is the smell of her wig. Mm, yes. That is a good enough reason because some people wigs be smelling like the inside of a belly button. Y'all ever smell the inside of a belly button they ain't been washing a long time? That's how some people wigs be smelling like. It's just like a, oof, you hitting that bitch from the back and you just get a good little whiff of that wig. Mm-mm-mm. Goddamn. It don't smell like human hell. It smell like human death. Human death. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I respect that reason. Um, Y'all want to go through the comments? I don't even know why I asked y'all. We're gonna we're gonna go through the comments. So um let's see if they have some some reason in the comments. So Tiffany Fox said this dude ordered a hamburger with no bun but had all the ingredients on it. Said he was watching his cars but had a whole plate of fries. Oh he he's stupid. Ketchup sliding all between his fingers. Nigga, just get the fucking bun already. <laughs> Oh yeah, he don't understand how nutrition really works. <laughs> the fuck is he doing? <laughs> that ain't how it work, my God. Homie with the cast dodge the bullet. Yeah, yeah, cause what cause what the fuck was up with that? The cash situation. He dodged the big bullet. Like that was fucked up. <laughs> nigga too happy. He, he nigga too, what the fuck? Oh man. <laughs> Alright, so it was a blind date and he was 5'4 and I'm 5'9. I bent over to get something. He glided on my back. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the hell? So how is having a broken hand childish? Exactly. Like, what the fuck? And he was smiling. Like, come on, dog. Not him forgetting about the kids. <laughs> hey, man. He quoted Kevin Samuels, the end. Hey, you probably did him a favor. <laughs> you probably did him a favor, man. The smell of unkept wigs. <laughs> but I must be honest though, like some wigs are very, very 
disgusting smelling but it, it's not the girl's fault sometimes it, because it's just not washed properly or not kept properly they, they probably spent a lot of money on some wig and then they bought that expensive ass wig to go on a date and look good for you and then they like just left stuck because some of these wigs are between 300 to fucking 600 dollars bro them shits are fucking expensive and they spent all that money to look good for you and shit like that so they probably you know got that wig and smell crazy hell they trying to smell it. they trying to spread it and get it all right for you and then they come on a date with you and there's nothing they could do uh man but i hope they got some other shits in the back of that lady just lady just understand we smell the wig we be smelling the wig sometimes when they don't smell good we smell the wigs and if you smell it we smell it so sometimes the fellas just try to make you feel good about it or whatever like that they don't cause too much of an issue with it but um sometimes yeah it may not be unkept it may have just bought it like that but this was very fun for me i'm glad it wasn't just the um the ladies talking i'm glad the fellas chimed in that was cool that's why i like spiritual word because they're more balanced than any other thing you feel me how i try my best to be on this channel very very balanced you feel me although i'm always gonna rock for my fellas you know i'm rocking for my boys rocking for my boys uh you know but um listen Hope y'all have fun with me, just as much fun as I did making this video. Make sure y'all smash that like button on the way out. Drop a comment or some shit. Say your favorite part or whatever. Or just talk shit. Say Stacey, you look ugly as fuck or some shit like that. I don't know. Say something. Say something, man. I'm going to wrap this video well. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Stacey and I fuck with you. Why? And that's because you fuck with me. Hey, I'm out.